Hey, Steve, Pat here. I'm going to give you a quick update uh, on where things are. Um, this is the design that I sent through on the, the homepage redo a while back. Um, and so as you can see, and I, I didn't get really too much feedback on this. Um, I think you had mentioned that it looked fine. You were looking more for the uh, information on <clears throat> how the... Um, the actual box section was going to look so so we've got basically four main sections here we've got the the banner um, with a call to action we've got the how it works section we've got the Long Island local section with a call to action and then we've got the same stuff down here so that was the design this is the actual um, piece so we've still got we've got the top part here with the call to action button how it works. Put a different background in there um, just with some sort of faded pastoral co cows. Um, I can switch that out if you don't like that but uh, it's just fairly fairly uh, soft. So um, any of this information I can change text wise. Um, got the Long Island local with a call to action and then the lighthouse and then the, the footer. So if we go to the um, actual box builder you know, essentially, well, let me go back real quick here and just a couple of items that <clears throat> I think are worth noting. Since we've taken the Mega Menu out, there's really no contact us information. There's no, and I don't think that was really there anyway other than down here, but there's no about, there's no contact, there's no um, anything like that. If that's okay, that's totally fine. Um, if we go to the um, mobile version of this you can see I took the hamburger menu out there as well and we have basically the same thing um, just in mobile version so um, but let's head on over to the box uh, this is a fairly standard out-of-the-box construction with a few tweakable pieces from the app um, we've got the header banner, we've got the header text here, so I just need this information from you. And then obviously all the products. Now anything that doesn't have an image yet um, is just one, one of these placeholder images because that's just coming from Shopify. These are all these sort of temporary images that I stuck in there. So I think what we want to do here <clears throat> is explain that there's a $75 minimum. Um, so you have to at least add enough items to get your cart to $75 um, and then people can start adding and then the, as they add let me get that out of the way it's gonna pop up this little uh, notice to them that uh, the bundle needs to be at least and I gotta darken that text a little $75 you have one product in your bundle so every time you add um, it's gonna go up and then that same information shows up at the bottom um, your bundle needs to be at least $75. You have four products in your bundle and the add to cart's not going to actually light up until that bundle is, is up to 75 bucks. So, um, and I think that's going to, this little pop-up will show up really anytime this is not in, in view. So um, I may style this a little differently because it's got the rounded edges and I'm not real crazy about that. I think that's picking it up off our branding styles. Um, I may make this a little more of a like a footer pop up that, that pops up, um, you know, all the way across at the bottom there. So anyway, um, so what I need um, is are the images th I need um, that information and that's about it. The, the only things that are in the bundle right now are the new products. I haven't put the old products in there, like the burger box, the burb box, things like that, but I can. So just let me know on that. Um, so I'll, uh, I'll, I'll tie this up with a quick little punch list when I send you the, the link to the video.